Welcome back. I'm still Dave. I hope you enjoyed my previous video on the tutorial on creating your books to read a counter, free landing page for authors. Uh, this video is to celebrate something different, something I figured out only while I was actually busy with uh, the tutorial before. Now, if you're an author and you're involved in the publishing industry and you work with Amazon on a day-to-day -day basis, one of the biggest frustrations you have is how do I send the readers to the right store? Because I think I counted around 13 separate Amazon sales territories, meaning that if you are a reader in uh, the UK, you shop on Amazon.co.uk. If you are, uh, are a reader in the US, you use Amazon.com. Uh, if you are a reader from uh, Germany, you use Amazon.de. And so the frustration so many authors in the publishing space have had for so many years is that uh, do I have to show all my readers all these links and let them choose? Is there not a simpler way? And uh, yeah, this is the video that I'm about to show you. Um, this is something I discovered recently. Very cool. It is using a free service called Books to Read. Now, Books to Read, uh, if you haven't heard of it before, is a, a single sales page that collects all your links together and shows them to the reader so that they can make the choice. So, very cool. Right now, it's free. Um, and this video is to show you in action how they redirect a user to the right Amazon store using what I think might be the IP address of the, uh, the visitor, the reader. Now, something to, uh, to preface this video with is that this is something you normally pay for. So this problem of how to direct someone based maybe on their location or their IP address, um, it's a problem that I've been chewing on for a very long time. And the solutions that I've Googled and I've, I've researched, uh, for example, using a WordPress website, how do I direct a reader to their specific Amazon store? It costs money to normally fix. And when I say money, I'm speaking about $8 per month just to solve that problem of I click on one Amazon button and it takes me to the right Amazon store. Now, the team at Books to Read has given this to us for free. Um, so that is really damn cool. And, and as soon as I saw that, I had to make this video showing you in action. Right now, I've got a, a UBL, a Universal Book Links page that I've just created in the tutorial that uh, should be available and live at the time of, of uh, recording. And I've got the link to Amazon. Now, I'm going to click on this link and I'm going to show you where it takes me. And then I'm going to change my IP address using a free VPN um, software. And then I'm going to show you how it redirects me to a different location once my IP address has changed. I hope that makes sense. I hope you're as excited by this as I am. So let's begin. I'm on my Books to Read UBL page. I've created this in a previous tutorial. If you need help, go check that out. Um, to show you that I am in South Africa, the land of sunny, sunny skies and no electricity. Um, here's my IP address location, confirming South Africa, Western Cape. Okay. Now I'm going to open up my universal book page. I'm going to click on the Kindle link and let's see where it takes me. So I'm a reader from South Africa or from the US and look, it takes me to amazon.com. Perfect. This is where I should be. But let's go back uh, and change where it thinks I am now. So I'm going to use Tunnel Bear. Um, it doesn't really make a difference what you're using. The VPN is this is uh, this is free software that I use that I really like. So I'm going to turn it on. It's very very cute. Uh, the way they use the bear in, in in the whole bit of software really really um, <laughs> it really really warms me. Okay, so right now I think I'm in Germany. Let's let's swap this over. Let's say no no. Actually, I'm in the United Kingdom. So there goes my cute little bear tunneling from South Africa to the UK. And it should wake up any second and say, you are in the UK. To prove that it thinks I'm in the UK, I'm going to come back to my IP address. I'm going to IP lookup. And we're expecting this to change from South Africa. There we go. It thinks I'm in the United Kingdom. I'm going to come back to the page. Uh, this page can work fine. I'm going to refresh the page. So I'm going to refresh the page so that it knows my IP has changed. And I'm going to hover over the Kindle link. I'm going to click on it and see what happens. Now, when it takes me, it takes me to amazon.co.uk. It thinks I'm in the UK and it sent me to the perfect shop. How cool. <laughs> that is so exciting. Um, next, let's say I am in uh, Germany. My cute little bear tunnels from, I suppose, South Africa to Germany. Um, It'll wake up any second. I'm going to then 
confirm I'm in the right location. So I should change from the UK to Germany. Yes, I'm going to come back to my sales page. Oh, that's why I've changed it. Okay, let's come back. Okay, so I'm going to refresh my page um, so that it knows about the IP change. I'm going to click on Kindle. Now, guys, this should take me to the German version of Amazon as a, as a final proof. Amazon.de, there the book is. Guys, this is powerful. This solves a frustration we've had for so long of, you know, how do I send the author to, or the reader, sorry, to the right store? And the team at Books to Read or Draft to Digital are providing it to us free of charge, aside from all the other cool stuff that they pack into the Books to Read platform. So even if you're only publishing on Amazon, even if you're only publishing your ebook on Amazon, Books to Read is still valuable because a single link will direct someone to the right page. And what you can do is take this link that you've created with the universal link here to Amazon and link that to your website. So you have a beautiful author website, uh, they click on the purchase link and then they come to this location and they then either choose whichever miscellaneous store they might want or if they, uh, like many readers I'm sure, like Amazon, this will automatically route them to the right location. This solves a massive headache. It's available for free for you right now. Uh, again, if you aren't sure how to make your own books to read page, check out the tutorial that I created. Guys, it's, it's exciting. I really hope you enjoy this as much as I did when I found it out uh, recently.